Hello, this is a video on hermit crab care. Um, in this video I'll be showing you the products I use for my hermit crabs and I will be changing the hermit crab tank which is what you are seeing right now. Um, I bought this tank at PetSmart. My sister used it for a while for her frogs and then gave it to me. It works great for hermit crabs. I originally had a starter kit which um, was way too small for even one hermit crab let alone two, which is what I have. So I have upgraded them to this bigger tank and will be showing you how I personally um, put all of their toys, shells, hermit ha crab huts, um, all of their products in it. So I'll start with the sand. Um, this is actually reptile sand, not hermit crab sand. Um, at PetSmart you can get um, little bags of hermit sand that have calcium in them. Uh, they come in pink, purple, green, blue, any color of the rainbow. Uh, they are a little more expensive for a small bag. I think last time I checked it was around eight dollars, eight nine dollars. Um, for a bag of reptile sand which is like three times bigger, um, it's half the price and um, all I do is provide a calcium supplement. So I, I would recommend doing that if you use reptile sand. A lot of it doesn't have calcium in it. Um, this right here is um, dirt that is concentrated. Um, it was a full circle. I cut it in half and just used half of it for my tank. Um, you put it in about 8 ounces of water and it um, swells up to about right here. Right here I think. Um, you mash it up in the sand and uh, the hermit crabs like to dig through it. It makes their tank smell really earthy, but it is a lot harder to clean, um, almost impossible to spot clean, so I end up having to clean their tank um, much earlier than I normally would with just the sand. So I will not be using this today. I think I got it for $2.99 at a pet store where I go to school. Um, I have not seen them at PetSmart, but um, I could be wrong. I suggest using them um, if you have many hermit crabs. They really like to burrow in it. So then moving on to my water. Um, on the right here I have um, hermit crab water conditioner. Um, two drops per eight ounces of water. Um, the water bottle in the background, um, I have a black line about right here that measures eight ounces. I put the two drops in there, um, screw on the cap and then shake so it makes um, making their water a lot easier. I don't have to measure out um, eight ounces every time I change their water, which is every day, can get really annoying. So I just use a little water bottle. Um, or you can use uh, any plastic bottle. Um, I just find it a lot easier. Um, on the left here, I have hermit crab salt, which is for bathing and soaking. Um, I've had probably seven hermit crabs, and the ones that I give a salt bath at least once every two weeks um, seem to live a lot longer and um, the salt bath uh, besides uh, feeling good on your hermit crab shell helps them molt a lot easier um, has some like vitamins and minerals calcium um, I got I also got this from PetSmart it's a little more exp it's more expensive than you would think for just a little thing of salt but um, well worth it I would buy it it's also um, I find there are a few ways to actually um, play with a hermit crab. So putting salt in a dish, mixing it up with some water, and setting your hermit crabs in it, um, it can be fun to watch them crawl around. So I would suggest that. Um, the bowls I use right here, uh, this one is for water. It's a little bit heavier. It's it's um, like clay. Um, I use that one for the water because it's uh, harder to tip over. Um, I have a bigger, one of my hermit crabs is a little bit bigger and he likes to throw things around so water is a mess to clean up so I use the heavier one for him. Um, this blue dish in the background that you see is um, actually the bottom of a pot for plants. Um, I wanted a dish for fresh fruits and vegetables but um, these little ones can get quite spendy and I didn't have time to go all the way out to the pet store. So while I was at Walmart with my mom, she actually, um, she thought it was a hermit crab bowl and um, it was only about a dollar. So I thought it would be 
good to use. It has the shiny finish on it, so when I wash it, which I do every time I remove their fruits and vegetables, which you should do after 24 hours, um, it comes right off real easy to clean, um, and it's, it's fairly small, so it fits right in their tank. Um, this little green one is for food. It is the smallest of my dishes. Um, I put, it's, it's recommended that you put um, about a tablespoon per crab. Uh, this here is about one tablespoon, I would say. So um, it would be quite full if I did two um, tablespoons, which is recommended since I have two hermit crabs. Uh, I usually just fill, um, fill it so that you can't see the bottom, and that works well for me. Uh, if you are more um, more of a stickler for following the rules or directions, uh, you can go ahead and use two tablespoons. But this is my food. Um, there, it's not very big, so um, if you're going to be doing one tablespoon per crab, uh, recommended you have two crabs, so they they're pretty social creatures. Um, you're going to run out very quickly. Um, the food, it's, I mean, I, ha I have a very big dog, so, I, I mean, in contrast, it, it doesn't cost much, but I try and save as much money as possible, so if they don't, if they're not going to eat it all, um, why set it in there and let it go bad, so that is the hermit crab food I use. Uh, it's from Zoomed. This hermit crab conditioner is also Zoomed. Um, and then, I guess we should get to the tank. Here's the tank again. I've um, already washed it. Um, there are some uh, smudges and scratches from when my sister uh, had her frogs in it. So that is, it is clean, even though it may look a little bit dirty. Um, it comes with this stand, which I really like because um, it keeps it on my shelf, um, raised above so I can see what's going on. Um, I did have a heating pad. It's on my uh, original tank. I have not transferred it yet. So they still don't have one of those. Um, let's see, I'll take the sand and I usually um, pour it in and then shake so that it's um, all flat. So I'll go ahead and do that. There we go. Make sure. Um, you're also going to want to do this somewhere where um, if sand gets on the ground, you can vacuum up. I'm spilling sand and uh, bird seed for my bird constantly. Um, unfortunately, I have um, carpet that's a little shaggy, so it does take a while to vacuum up. But um, I just thought I'd warn you about that. I do, um, when I lived in the dorms, I was changing the sand and I got sand in places I could not clean up. And it was very, um, it was kind of a hassle. My roommate was not happy. So shake this out. There we go. Level sand. Um, and then I start by putting in the Hermy Hut, which is their little shelter. Um, it's half of like a coconut with. There's the Hermy Hut. Um, it's a little ladybug. My friend got it for me for my birthday. I think it's cute. I usually put that in first because it is the first place they go. Right there. And I put it in the corner out of habit. Um, because I usually put the heating pad um, next to the Hermie Hut. So I'll put that in there. And then, second most important thing is the food dish and the water dish, which I put in the opposite corner so that they can get some exercise um, crawling back and forth. Um, food dish I put right next to that one. There you go. Sorry about the glare. Um, and then, um, for the fruit and vegetable dish, I don't usually put that in until I put the fruits and vegetables in because um, it does take up a little bit of space. And um, if there's nothing in it, they don't really need it. So I do have, this is the only um, hermit crab, I don't know if you can call it, call it a toy, but um, it's just like a little pot made to look ancient. I thought it was cute. I usually set that and dig it into the sand. And they like to climb, um, my smallest one tries to get in it. He's a little too big for that. Um, their cal the calcium source I use is, um, this is part of a cuddle bone, which if you have a bird, you know what that is. Um, it's a long um, piece of like chalky calcium. It's, you can scratch it off. Um, my bird uses it for calcium too, so I just cut off the ends of hers um, when I buy them. And I stick those in there. 
And um, even when they're not 